You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges Hello, welcome back. I have an empties of 2023. Why did I let it get this far and this long? You tell me, but we're here and that's what's happening. So obviously I probably went through a lot more stuff than this. So some things that like maybe would be repeated like shampoo and conditioner, I wouldn't have put repeats in here. Um, and there are some things that I didn't fully go through, but they just didn't work so bad that I had to get rid of it. And I hate doing that. Like I hate wasting things, but there are a few in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get in. This is the worst and best of 2023. So let's dive in. I guess let's just do the non-beauty items first. So I went through way more than this, but I put some of my ghost stuff in here because you guys know if you watch my channel, this is the supplement brand that I drink, not sponsored at all. Ghost does not know me, but it's just the one I like. And I get it at my GNC, which is local. Um, so I can just go pick it up whenever. So the first thing is size. This is Muscle Builder in natty natural um i you this has no flavor would i buy it again no i didn't think this was useful to me uh why did i get it in the first place i don't know i don't think i meant to buy it and i did um this is my favorite flavor this is straw not strawberry sour patch watermelon this is the bcaa this is what i put in my water as i'm working out at the gym i sip on this my husband and I go back and forth because I really like this and I feel like whether it's a mental just what am I trying to say placebo effect or not I enjoy the taste of it and I do feel like it makes me energized um but he seems to think it's pointless so um I probably will repurchase it can I tell you that it for sure does something? No. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put any of my ghost protein powders in, but I'll go ahead and verbally tell you because if you're someone that really uh, enjoys going to the gym and likes having supplements, the Chips Ahoy whey protein powder is my number one. And actually Cinnabon is tied for number one. And then there's cinnamon cereal milk is tied for number two i feel like there's another in there whatever um yum 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 the chocolate chip one though you do have to chew on it which is weird because there's like you don't have to but i chew it it's the only protein powder i really ever chew because it has like cookie in it and chocolate chips so i don't like just swallowing little bits like that um so if you don't want to chew your protein powder i'd say try the cinnabon one okay Next, we have, I'm just gonna dig right in here. I forgot about this. I broke, and by me, Asher broke, no, maybe it was me. Maybe, I don't know. One of us broke my Starbucks cup. This is a 40 ounce tumbler, and it is completely cracked open. You can't put liquids, <laughs> which sucks because I love this. I got this in Utah for my birthday. I had enough points to get this for free. So that sucks. Um, and then we have hair care. So this is what I'm saying where I only have one. And um, this is L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Conditioner. This is my absolute all-time favorite shampoo and conditioner. It's the green one, if you can find it. It's really hard to find this color, some reason. I just found one recently and it has been a solid seven months since I've been able to find it in my area. It's so weird. So I normally have to buy this online. Um, but I will say the lid has broken a few times. So I like having these in a stash of empties because sometimes I have to switch the lids out. So really I'm saving myself money by holding on to empties. But yeah, this it smells so good. But on the other hand, when this is out of stock and I need it ASAP and I don't have time to order it, I get the purple one. This one makes your hair so silky smooth because sometimes, because I use a wet brush to brush my hair afterwards, sometimes I feel like my hair is tangly with this. This like has a detangler already in it. So if you need like something that will soften your hair, do this one. I just like the smell of the green one more. Alrighty. Um, another hair care. I got this from TD Maxx. This is BioSilk Silk Therapy 17 Miracle spray and 
like I said, sometimes this makes my hair feel tangly. Put this in, no more tangles. I also like how this one you can use as just moisturizer. So I put it in my hair and then I just rub the excess on my hands like, just like along my body. And I feel like I'm not wasting anything. Even though is it really that wasteful? I don't think so. <laughs> um, but I do like this and at TJ Maxx, I took the tag off. I got it for like $9.99. But if you buy it full price, this is like 20 bucks. So don't buy it full price. Get it from TJ Maxx, they always have it. I think that was all of hair. We'll see, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is my new favorite. I forgot about it. My favorite face wash. This is by Origins. It's the Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It smells like mint and it's just like i don't know how to describe it it makes me feel like i have a luxury item it feels so good it smells so good on your face too i think it's like 30 dollars to buy do i want to spend that much not really i got this in an ipsy so it basically was free i want it again i missed this i forgot i haven't had this in like two months mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, if you're someone that really likes that minty smell, check this one out. Okay, by Murad. This is actually one that I did not go through. This is the Essential C Toner. I talk all the time about how much I love vitamin C in my face. This toner made me itch so bad and like red and my face did not like it. So I guess, I don't know if it's just like how much vitamin C is in something, but this was too much for me. And another thing, this is another vitamin C product that I thought I would love. This is a brightening cleanser by Rodeal. And again, like I just felt like I was breaking out with this. Not as much making me feel uncomfy, but it just, I'm pretty sure it's making me break out. And then next we have the Poor Professional Good Cleanup. I went through this so fast because this is a sample in an Ipsy bag. And I didn't go, like it literally lasted a week and then it was done. So I don't really have much thoughts and opinions on it. It's a cleanser. <laughs> By Pure Lisse, this is a Yuzu orange exfoliator. Resurfaces, mist collagen, and brightens. It had like a very low intensity exfoliator in it. So if you're someone that doesn't want like anything really abrasive, this would be a good option for you. It also smelled good. <sighs> Whoa, okay, let me go back into Somerville. This is a goat milk moisturizing cleanser. Very good for sensitive skin. It had a very non-scented scent. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't not scented, but it wasn't scented. It, it was very, very, very light. It felt good on your face. This would be a good like morning cleanser if you even want to cleanse your face in the morning. I drool a lot, so I enjoy <laughs> cleansing my face. By Superstar Patches. This is an Amazon purchase that I got. This is $12 for 240 patches compared to $20 for like 30 patches of those like star yellow brand smiley ones. I don't even know what they're called. Um, I have bought them before. They did nothing for me though. They did not help my pimples whatsoever. Uh, do they look cute on the face? Not really actually because the holographic kind of like holographic red where it just looked like a giant dip on my face I felt like. So I don't know. They had other colors. I would say if you use them because I will say would I rather look at this on my face compared to a pimple? Yeah. So if you're someone that just wants to wear them out to cover like a nasty zit um, then go ahead. But if you are like I want something to actually heal my acne this is not going to be it at least not for me so bye oh yes okay i got this on our wedding weekend this is by publix brand which we don't have those grocery stores near us but this is apricot scrub and it worked just like my saint ives one i have no complaints i just remember it brought a memory back to me in the public grocery store <laughs> Uh, yeah, I liked it. So if you have a Publix, this is a good one. By Paracone MD, we have went through a lot of skincare. I told you about my skincare era. This is the Vitamin C Citrus Brightening Cleanser. Another Vitamin C product, but this one worked really well, and I really like this one. Paracone MD is very expensive, though. Again, another Ipsy. Ipsy gives me all the really good skincare that I can't ever purchase afterwards. By Glow Recipe, we have a Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. Loved it. 
it's so cute too like you can't tell me this isn't adorable to have in your bathroom um and i also love the pump on it because then you don't have to deal with the bacteria of dipping your finger in an eye cream really hate when i have to do those but it's okay i deal with it i love this I did, okay, Coors. I did not think I would like this. This is their grapeseed oil velvet skin drink. And it was a skin oil. I usually hate skin oils. Loved it. It made my skin just like look and feel good, bright, moisturized. I would definitely repurchase this in the future. So that was a win. By BFF Brow Friends Forever the beauty crop this is just a brow gel and after using benefits brow gel this stuff sucks i would not repurchase this but before i use benefit i'd be like it's okay it's weird how that works yeah um do not recommend it oh my gosh we're still going with skincare clean and clear essentials deep cleaning <laughs> clean and clear essentials deep cleansing astringent Loved this. Can I use it right now because I'm on Accutane? I cannot, but will I use it again in the future? Hopefully not because hopefully I won't have acne. Um, but if you have acne or you struggle with acne, I love this, especially putting this on your pimps after they pop. Uh, it just dries them out. Before they pop, dries them out. They're, it's great. It's very cheap too. Is that everything? It's not. Ella Miss Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. My battery is dying, oh my goodness. This is in eye cream and I liked it. No complaints, kept my eyes moisturized. Did not make them feel gross or itchy. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I used both of them on my brows. Um, again, after using Benefits brow stuff, I hate it, <laughs> but it is cheap. Oh. Drunk Elephant, F-Bomb, Electrolyte, Water Facial, Mask Hydrant. I miss this. So expensive. Got this in an Ipsy. Common theme here. Loved it. If you have a lot of money, buy it. If you don't like me, I'm sorry. We have to find something else. Uh, but so good. So, so good. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get my other battery. And then we'll finish the next half. All right, back in business here. By 111 Skin, this is a Cairo pre-activated toning cleanser. My skin did not respond well to this. I broke out with it, so I stopped using it. I don't, I have nothing else to say. My skin did not like it. I have sensitive skin though. The next thing by Fenty Beauty is her brow product and it is double ended with the brow gel and then it has the spoolie brush. This stuff is actually really good. I need to check the price on it and uh, the difference between Benefit and this one because that would maybe factor into if I wanted to purchase this one instead. So another really great product for brows. Hmm. See, there's some really good ones in here. <laughs> Bella B Nipple Nurture Butter for Breastfeeding Mamas. I breastfed Ash for 15 months and exclusively for 13 months. And this came in handy in the beginning for sure, and then a few times in the middle. Did I need it all the time? No. Um, but I will 100% say if you are a new mama or soon to be and you're planning on breastfeeding, you need this. My nips hurt so bad in the beginning. And that's a common experience. And this stuff soothed it. Did it like fix the problem? No. You just like. They have to get used to it, and um, you're going to need it, though. And I like this one. I still have a lot of it left, but I know if I ever need it again, uh, it's going to be bad by then. <laughs> so I'm one going to get rid of it. But I just got this on Amazon. By Refreshment, which is Ipsy's brand, this is the Pillowy Shave Cream in Citrus Spritz. This is such a cute, like, brand packaging. Like, it makes you smile being in your shower. And it was good as far as shave cream. I usually don't use shave cream. I should start using it more because I do get razor burn. By Cetaphil, Cetaphil, Cetaphil. This is a hydrating eye gel cream for sensitive skin. Worked well. Made my eyes feel moisturized. It's expensive though. The drugstore stuff, this is like $20. 
Did I buy that? Let's know. I almost never buy skincare. Earth Harbor Oasis Deep Pore Gel Cleanser. Apparently I went through this, although it looks like it's been leaking out, so maybe I didn't. I honestly don't remember this. I want to say I went through it though. I want to say I did use it up, except for the way that it's just like leaking right now. It's really confusing. Okay, I did not use this at all, it looks like. I mean, a little bit. Clarity RX Brighten It 10% Lactic Acid Solution. I want to say this made my skin feel itchy and I stopped using it. And I definitely cannot use it now being on Accutane. I, it's rare when I put a full product into this because I really have to dislike it or it really has to not work well with me. By Glow Recipe, this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream and I loved this. I love Glow Recipe. I love Drunk Elephant. I love Saturday Skin. Like there's some brands I just like automatically love them and they always do well. Murad I love, although I had that one that I didn't like. Um, made my skin feel really good, really like dewy and fresh and <laughs> it's so cute too. We're really getting in the bottom here. Okay, bye. <laughs> this one makes me angry at myself mainly. This is by Flow, Flow Vitamins. They're for acne, skin, and period symptoms. They're supposed to make your skin better. Um, I bought a three pack, so 90 day supply, which was expensive. It was like $90. Uh, but the cool thing is they have a, what I thought was a 90 day love it or refund some of your money. Um, and so I kept using on being like, okay, I'm going to really give this a try. Um, because they said after like, it takes 60 days for it to start working. And so I was five days over. Cause I, again, I thought it's like with that 65 days of taking it and no improvements at all. And I went to go check and make sure that it's still the 90 day refund period. And I realized it was a 60 day refund period. And so by that point I had it was already over i had to just like bite it and take the loss so i would not recommend these especially with like it's all over tiktok and the ads being like this cured my acne it did not cure mine it did not okay <laughs> some weird stuff apparently that i put in here this is a nursing bra i got this highly rated on amazon it's by ho fish h-o-f-i-s-h i got it in a medium they are, they run so big. I would have needed like a small to extra small. Um, and I didn't return them. So that's on me. But they do, like, uh, what am I trying to say here? Why is it a nursing bra? How does that? I actually don't really know the difference between, is this actually a nursing bra? It doesn't really look like it. I'm going to say no. Um, I'm going to say that this is not what you want for a nursing bra. I did buy it as one. I will be honest with you guys. I have small, I'm small chested. There's, that's not a secret here. Um, nursing bras just like, bras fit way too big in the actual cup. And so what I did is just wore sports bras my whole time nursing. And I literally just like lifted it up. And that's how it worked. So you don't have to get special bras. If you're planning on pumping, would it be helpful having a special bra? Yeah. Um, I did not pump that much to where, like I would just hold it. Like it's not convenient, but I didn't pump enough for it to be like, I need to get all these fancy bras. Um, if you are looking for some nice maternity bras, I have heard really good things about Braverly. I think that's what it's called. They have sports bras, they have regular bras, they just have all the bras. So check that out if you're on here and you need bra stuff. Um, by Walmart, we had some little kid sandals by Wonder Nation and they broke. The strap broke and obviously toddler and babies cannot just wear slip-on shoes, especially when, when Asher fit in these, he still couldn't walk. So um, don't recommend. <laughs> And then last, 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 I have candles. So I have 
two of the same ones or just different packaging. This is Mainstays by Walmart. This is Hey There Pumpkin and Pumpkin Spice. They're literally the same candle. They just have two different names. This for some reason was their, well not for some reason. This was their fall packaging and this was their winter packaging. So they smell so good and they were only $5. So if you're like me and trying to save money and you don't want to get those Bath and Body Works uh, candles for like, what are they? Like 25 to $15 now, depending on the sale. Um, do you remember old Brittany going to Bath and Body Works and getting $6 candles? Because I don't think that's a thing anymore. I don't think you, you literally can't go to Bath and Body Works and get a candle for that much. That sucks, right? And this is the very last thing. Why did I put a pin in here? I was really thinking something. This is Bic Gelosity, a 0.7, and I really loved it. Like, love, love, love this pen. So if you wanna try a new pen that's not super expensive, try the Bic Gelosity and 0.7, not sponsored. <laughs> All right, that was everything. My husband was close to throwing this bag away at least 20 times throughout this past year. And I kept saying, no, I'll do a video, I'll do a video. And it took a year, so we got there. We did it and I'm proud of us. So please leave in the comments, um, any, leave your top favorite product from 2023. Do I wanna give my top 2023 product from this haul? That's way too difficult. Well, you guys know me. I'm, well, it's just, it's in my hand. A forever tried and true favorite. It's gonna go to my L'Oreal L5 Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Conditioner and Shampoo Duo. The pump one specifically. I love a pump. So, oh, thank you for staying with me, and joining me in 2024 now. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed your time here. Leave me a comment again for your favorite product recommendation. And if you have any for really dry skin, please give me that. Cause that's my new normal. of <laughs> trying to find stuff to calm down the situation of crustiness. And I'll see you. My next video is probably gonna be a lot. So I will see you there.